Hi everybody. I'm sure you have been wondering, are all multivitamins good for you and are they all created equally? So I'm gonna to talk to you about some of the biggest myths around multivitamins. Before we talk about that, there's so much controversy around this topic. There's no shortage of videos and research saying that you can benefit from a multivitamin and there's no shortage that proves the opposite. So which one is right? They both are or they both can be and let me help you understand why. My name is Dr. Olivia Joseph. So I have been using supplementation. I have been teaching not only the public, but training doctors on deficiencies, toxicity, inflammation, gut health for quite some time, 16 years. And this is a very common question I get, not just from the general public, but even from healthcare practitioners. So I wanna cover three of the top myths around multivitamins. So I hold a diplomate in clinical nutrition. So just so you understand, that means I have expert status in the field of clinical nutrition. My biology degree is in human biology and I've studied a lot of biochemistry in my lifetime. So I know there are really great supplements out there and not so great supplements out there. So let me teach you how to spot some of these things. So myth number one, multivitamins are the most important supplement. They can be and they can't be. And I've been on both sides of the fence. What I will tell you about a multivitamin is this. If it contains synthetic ingredients, don't waste your time, don't waste your money. So look at your multivitamin and see if it contains artificial coloring. I see this a lot in vitamins. I see this in prenatals. We know artificial coloring does not need to be in a multivitamin and can be toxic to some people, especially with poor detox pathways and sensitivities. Why would we give children a multivitamin with artificial coloring. Why would we give a pregnant woman with a developing fetus a, a prenatal with artificial coloring? That's one of the best ways to spot a toxic vitamin. Don't waste your time, don't waste your money. With that said, I'm gonna teach you two ingredients to look out for to help you spot synthetic nutrients because when something is synthetic, it's not bioavailable. What bioavailable means is it's the form that your body can use and absorb. So look at B9, which is folate. If your supplement says folic acid, folic acid is synthetic. Methylfolate is not. Methylfolate is what we call the bioavailable form. So check your multivitamin and check that ingredient. Another great, this is probably the number one way to spot a synthetic vitamin. Go right to B12, and if it says cyanocobalamin, that's the synthetic form. Methylcobalamin is the bioavailable form. So if you take the synthetic form of vitamins, then I don't recommend you take a multivitamin because you're depending on proper digestive function, proper detox pathways, proper conversion pathways, just to absorb those nutrients. So you're only gonna absorb a small amount. This is one of the reasons why taking a multivitamin is so controversial. Some say it helps, some say it doesn't. But what I will tell you is nutritional deficiencies are so common. I do blood testing and functional testing so I could show you black and white proof that nutritional deficiencies are so prevalent, especially in Americans. We are some of the most overfed and yet undernourished countries in the world. And we're seeing these deficiencies across all ages. We're seeing them in children. We're seeing them in teenagers, not just in adults because they've been deficient for decades. So without taking a multivitamin, a good quality one that has no artificial toxins, that has ingredients made with the most bioavailable sources of supplements, without doing that, without taking that, you are more prone to deficiencies because it's near impossible to get all of your nutrients from food when our food sources contain 40 to 50% less nutrition than just 20 and 30 years ago. So I know we talk about, well, my grandpa did this, my parents did this. They ate different food than we eat. Even healthy foods like broccoli, cauliflower, certain potatoes contain over 50% less nutrition than they did 10, 20, 30 years ago. How we grow our food now is different. Where our food comes from now is different. The soil our food is grown in is different. The air, the water is different than it was just 10 years ago. That's why deficiencies are so prevalent and I recommend you do take a great quality multivitamin to not get the maximum amount of nutrients you need, but just to prevent some of the most common deficiencies from occurring. So myth number two, multivitamins cure it all. 
Absolutely not. Most of the deficiencies I see on lab testing, a multivitamin won't even take care of. So I see people with poor detox pathways. I see people with vitamin D deficiency. I see people with autoimmune disease, which makes you more likely to be deficient. I see people with digestive issues, which makes you more likely to be deficient because if you can't digest properly, you can't absorb nutrients properly. Not only that, people are taking so many medications and medications deplete you of nutrients. How most medications work in activating your body is because they use a nutrient to activate. So if you take medications, you're much more likely to be deficient. If you take antacids, you're much more likely to be nutrient deficient. So vitamins are not a cure-all. They're just covering your baseline and supplementation with a good quality multivitamin is probably more important now than ever before in history. 15, 16 years ago when I started practicing, I didn't see multivitamins having a huge impact or a huge need. But in that 16 years, I've just seen deficiency skyrocket. So it's more important now than ever. And myth number three, all multivitamins are created equally. So here are some common ingredients that I pulled off some top multivitamins. Yellow 10, red 40, I've seen sucralose and aspartame in certain chewable vitamins. I've seen corn syrup, high fructose corn syrup. So these are some of the things that you see on the label of a multivitamin. So if you don't have a PhD in label reading, if it has artificial coloring, I wouldn't take it. If it has artificial sweeteners, I wouldn't take it. If it has high fructose corn syrup, I wouldn't take it. Check that B12. It's, if it says cyanocobalamin, that's a really easy way to spot synthetic. Or just stick to a brand you know and you trust and works for you. Just because you take a multivitamin doesn't automatically make you healthy, but it can at least prevent some of the most common deficiencies. And please don't kid yourself to think that a multivitamin replaces eating well, drinking water, eating fruits and vegetables, local and in season whenever possible, also organic if you have that option. Keep an eye on those things diet and lifestyle wise. Take a multivitamin, but really that's just your baseline that you build up from. So I hope this information helped you. I ho hope I brought to light why there's so much controversy and why there's so many differing opinions around this. Thank you.